Is your house getting repoed? I was going to start charging you for consulting, but uh, I don't think you can afford my fee now. Shh! Can you hear the ocean? Feel the Florida sunshine, the palm trees sway. I picture him right here, living alone in an old trailer, feeling the grass between his toes and playing the game he loves. And his peace is interrupted by the irritating detective. <laughs> Sounds nice if we were in Florida. So what's the problem this time? There is the veil in front of my eyes. The type that kept the Gentiles out of the Holy of Holies, but I need into the Holy of Holies. Yeah, I'm not following. It's the Rebundus Mall that troubles me. The plot twist. I see the chessboard. What does the detective need to do? He needs to outwit the madman by beating him in chess. Or the bomb goes off. It causes a landslide, destroying the surrounding houses. What if I had a bomb right now? What would you do? <laughs> I'd finally show you the inside of a jail cell. My life isn't a joke, and neither is yours. Is that real? Of course it's real. I would not waste my time with a faux bomb. Saxton, this is insane! My tactics are unorthodox, but that's what makes the readers love my work. I ride the fine line between genius and insanity, the brilliance and the deranged. <laughs> a few steps from the cuckoo's nest, huh? Ah, Chekhov's gun. Per the rules, you understand, it needs to go off by Act 3. Nobody's getting hurt if you disarm the bomb. Look, I've gone too far too long without a solution. Only you can help me. You're going to jail for this. Pay attention, detective. You are the hero of this story. You're supposed to be winning. The readers expect for the detective to win. If the readers are always expecting an unexpected plot twist, then the unexpected loses its surprise. Which transforms the obvious and expected into the new unexpected. What would be the most unexpected climax? Checkmate. Obvious. Yet unexpected. Detectives die. And the veil of the temple has been torn. Uh, forgot Chekhov's gun.